in his uh, transformation studies grip carried out series of of experiments using s form and r form strains of streptococcus pneumonia and mouse as an experimental animal actually he was interested in the collection of different types of uh, strains of uh, different bacteria and especially he was interested that how some virulent strains are transformed into non virulent strains so he carried out these series of experiments so in his uh, first experiment he took some r type bacteria and he injected these bacteria into uh, a mouse and he was expecting that because r type bacteria are non virulent so the mice will not get pneumonia and they would not die so he obtained same results the mice didn't get pneumonia and they survived in the next experiment he took s type bacteria and these were smooth bacteria because these bacteria are virulent and they have the ability to cause pneumonia in the uh, mouse so he injected these bacteria into uh, different mice and he got uh, the expected results the mice got pneumonia and died in the next experiment in his third experiment he took s type bacteria and he killed these bacteria by heating so he knew that if the bacteria are killed by heat they become non virulent they lose their ability to cause any disease so he took these heat killed s type bacteria and injected into mice and he observed that the mice survived they didn't get pneumonia and they didn't die in his final experiment griffith took some heat killed s form bacteria these are s type heat killed bacteria and he mixed some r type bacteria which are non virulent so uh, this mixture is actually non virulent because it contains dead s type bacteria which didn't have ability to cause disease he had r type bacteria r type bacteria also had not ability to cause disease so he expected that this mixture will not cause any disease in the mice and mice would survive but surprisingly he saw that mice died mice got pneumonia and the mice died so when he took blood of these mice he observed live s type bacteria in the blood of these mice so this was uh, very uh, surprising for griffith that how these uh, dead s type bacteria have been converted into live s type bacteria let us see some possible interpretations of the results of last experiment in which he found uh, live s type bacteria in the body of dead mice so uh, first uh, possibility uh, may be uh, that uh, some s type bacteria were not completely killed uh, by heat and a few bacteria uh, uh, remained live in the culture and when griffith injected this into the body of uh, mice these live bacteria multiplied and they caused pneumonia and uh, mice died but uh, uh, but at the same time he uh, used control experiments and uh, he used the same heat killed s type bacteria in the control experiments but uh, he saw never uh, these uh, s type heat killed s type bacteria caused uh, pneumonia and no any mouse died a second interpretation was that the live r type bacteria had mutated to the virulent s type it means 
some mutations may have occurred and they changed R type bacteria into S type bacteria. But this is not possible for few mutations to convert R type bacteria into S type bacteria. There must have been large number of mutations at the same time to convert R type bacteria into the S type. So uh, this cannot be the possible uh, interpretation of his results. So Griff finally concluded that R type bacteria had been transformed. Actually, he could not uh, describe, he could not uh, clearly demonstrate how these bacteria are transformed, what substance uh, was responsible for the transformation of these bacteria. So he theorized that some substance of the dead bacteria, dead bacteria means dead S type bacteria, might be responsible for that transformation because he didn't know that substance. So he called that substance as the transforming principle.